In a previous fast tip, we looked at how you can do various types of slow motion. But sometimes when we're, we're dealing with slow motion, we might get a clip that's got some ghosting or maybe it's got some interlaced lines. There are some ways that we can help reduce this by choosing this next trick that I'm about to show you. Now, this still isn't as good as some of the time remapping tools out there, such as Twixtor or some of the other tools that are available, but it is a poor man's way of achieving similar quality and uh, getting a, a fairly fast output without ever having to leave the Vegas environment. Let's dig in. Okay, I've got a clip here that's uh, already set up and I've stopped on a frame here where we can see a little bit of ghosting happening. There we go. All right, so we're going to insert a new video track. So control, uh, shift, Q. That gives us a new video track. Now we're going to go up and duplicate that track by holding control and dropping it in right next to it. Next, we're going to zoom in as deeply as we can here. We're going to want to be sure that we've got uh, our frame quantize turned on so that quantize to frames is enabled. Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do is just move this down the value of one frame, zoom in just a little bit, and see that little marker right here? And we're not going to be able to click on it because it's quantizing to frames. But if we turn off quantize to frames, we'll be able to click right on that little marker right there, or right on that little mark. And that's going to allow us to be a half a frame off slide down this next piece of video or the top piece of video reduce its opacity to 50 percent and now we'll scroll everything back and it looks like it's it's pretty well the same thing but it's actually not but look what's happened notice that the ghosting in those areas is now gone see just simply by copying the previous file and offsetting it by half a frame what that does is it allows Vegas to resample that footage with material or content in between those two frames when we're dealing with an interlaced camera this is a really great way to help you get better slow motion with most of the interlaced cameras that are out there so you can see in this picture here it's a significantly cleaner picture than we started out with just by simply slowing it down duplicating it offsetting it by half a frame, reducing the opacity to 50%. There's your next fast tip from VAST. Well, I'll find out more about VAST and our training DVDs on the VAST website, where we've got training for Sony Vegas and all kinds of cameras and any number of other production things.